Hello everyone, my name is Mohit and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing great. This is challenge number 3 of solving SQL challenges playlist and in this video we'll discuss on how to merge rows with delimiter. With that said, let us begin our discussion. Okay, so here we have input table name as orders and in this table we have three columns order id custom id and product name and uh, we have few sample data in this table and the requirement is if you observe the output table carefully we have two columns customer id and merged product so what is there in second column let us first try to understand this part okay so in this output table if you observe the first row which is for customer id 101 we have product a comma product c comma product a and same thing if you observe in our left table which is order table for customer id 101 the product name is product a again we have customer id 101 at row number 3 with product name as product c and again we have customer id 101 at row number 7 with product name as product a so in this table for customer id 101 we have product a product c and product e okay and if you merge these three product using a delimiter in this case it is comma then you will get this as an output so for customer id 101 we have these three products with comma separated and similarly if you observe these things for customer id 102 103 and 104 the logic is exactly same okay so if we summarize the output logic then in output we need customer id and all the product which are available for that customer in order table we have to merge those product using a delimiter and in this case it is comma so this is how the output table will look like okay so this is the requirement so let us discuss how we can achieve this as an output and uh, for that let me switch to ssms now i have already created order table with the same sample data what we observed in our slide okay so let me select that table first select star from table name is tbl orders okay now let me execute this one see this is the exact table okay now as per our requirement we need to merge this product name based on customer id okay so first column we need is customer id so let me select that one customer id now we need to merge this product name based on customer id so whenever the requirement is like this we need to use string underscore aggregate this function and it takes two argument first is the column which you want to aggregate or which you want to merge so in this case it is product name right so let me write product name and the second is delimiter right so in our case we want to merge these names using comma as a delimiter so second argument would be comma okay now let me name this column as merged product so this column name is same as what we had in our slide let me confirm this one merged products okay so let me write products now what we are trying to achieve in this line basically we are grouping this product name based on customer id okay so for customer id 101 we have these three values right so we need to merge this product name correct so in short if i tell we are grouping product name based on customer id and since we are grouping it we need to provide on which column we want to perform the grouping okay so we want to perform grouping on customer id correct because for customer id 101 we want to merge these three product product a product c and product e so here we will provide group by customer id okay let me run this one see we are achieving exactly the same result what was expected in output okay so let me go back to slide again just see this part 
we are exactly getting the same result correct and for that we used this as a query right and same we have written here now what if uh, the requirement is like after every comma we want a space so this part should look like product a comma then space product c then comma then space product e so this is more readable right so in order to achieve this one we just need to do one extra thing that is just put space after comma so it will take this whole as a like a delimiter and it will merge this product name based on customer id so let me rerun this query okay see now we are getting space after every comma and this was on the requirement right so here if you see we have provided space after comma and this is the expected output what we are also getting okay so let me move to the next slide okay so in this slide if you observe for customer id 102 we have product b comma product t but if we are using this query we are getting product d comma product b that means the order is like reverse and here they are expecting to merge this product name based on some order okay so to order this product name while merging we need to write the query something like this we have to use something called within group okay so let me show you how we can implement this so after this part we will just write within group order by now here in this column merge product we want to arrange the product name based on some order right so here order by column should be product name only correct so now if i execute the query you will observe that order of products has been interchanged for second row okay and it will remain same for other row because uh, in other rows uh, we can see that the products are already arranged like product a product c product e and here there is only one product so no need to worry then in this row also the product are arranged in proper manner product p and product f okay so here you will observe the change if i run this query okay so for customer id 102 you will observe that the product name has been interchanged and they are ordered okay so let me run this one see earlier it was product d comma product d now we are getting product d comma product d so the product name has been ordered why because we have put this extra part in our query okay and uh, this is the exact thing what we got as an output right so that's it guys for this video thank you so much for watching it if you have enjoyed this content then uh, please don't hesitate to show your support by liking this video and uh, subscribing to my channel and uh, please make sure to hit the bell icon to receive the notifications about new video updates thank you so much so let's meet in our next video with a new challenge so please stay tuned till then take care and goodbye